Diane Hotch, Nutritional Health Counselor and founder of The Food Evolution. And I'm Sally Eisenberg, Nutritional Health Counselor and one of the instructors here. The Food Evolution is a nutrition and cooking center designed to teach people how to create simple, healthy, and delicious meals. Today, we're going to create quinoa. 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 And one of life's best foods ever. Quinoa is a delicious uh, alternative to rice, pasta. And what makes it so fabulous is that it's a complete protein. It has all eight essential amino acids and it's gluten free. We love quinoa. We do. First thing that we're going to do though is we're going to heat up our pan. And then once we heat it up, we'll add in some olive oil. It's a really good quality olive yeah. oil. Yeah. People think that you don't have to, you know, you shouldn't add a lot of olive oil, but olive oil is a great food. It's an essential fatty acid, omega-3s, good for skin, hair, nails. I say go for it. And then once the olive oil is heated up in the pan, we add in our diced onion. And we're cooking the onions until they become translucent. So I've already set two cups of water to boil. Here's two cups, but it's boiling already. The one thing about quinoa is that it has a natural insect repellent on it already. So all you have to do is a quick rinse uh, with cold water. So make sure you have a fine mesh strainer that's small enough so that the tiny seeds won't go through. And we rinse with water. How wonderful is it that a food comes with a natural insect repellent? Well, that's the beauty of nature and real food. You need to be aware that quinoa is like a sponge, so it will absorb the water, and you want to get all the water out as much as you can um, by shaking it, because it will upset the ratio of the one to two water to quinoa. You see, so if I take this and I shake it, you can see there's a lot of water that still comes out. It's amazing how much it retains. I know. So then we take it and we put it into our boiling water like that and cover the top and simmer for 15 minutes. Only 15 minutes. That's the part I love the most. Oh, me too. One of the biggest complaints of moms and busy families is that it takes too much time to cook healthy food. But here is a side dish that takes 15 minutes to make. And once it's done, here's the cooked quinoa. See how fluffy it is? And what we're going to do, now that the onion is all translucent, we're going to fold the quinoa into the onion and make our mixture. You see, you're deglazing all the flavor off the pan of the onions, which is so nice. Very low in calories, too. You can add color to that, though. You can dice some carrots, red, red peppers. peppers. <laughs> we like the same food, don't we? We do. Yeah. Let's be honest. Very good. Now, mm. we'll taste a little are bit of it, get to okay? eat some of that? You are. Look at you cooking today, Sal. You always inspire me, Diane. Quinoa is so light. That's what I really like about it. You can eat a lot of it, but you won't feel heavy, right? Exactly. It's not heavy. You know, when you eat even brown rice pasta or, or I can feel rice, heavier. feels heavy. This feels very light. The onions add such a great crunch. Yeah. I'm Diane Hotch. I'm Sally Eisenberg. Thank you for sharing this time with us. To view more videos or to take a look at our class schedule, visit our website at www.thefoodevolution.com. And remember, good health is contagious. So don't forget to share.